TraceLink has a dedicated team that is focused purely on the uh, serialization, track and trace, compliance, and all the different requirements. For our company, this is what we do. We are dedicated to life sciences. We're dedicated to serialization and track and trace. We have really have a lot of resources to bring to bear here. And we have uh, folks that monitor the different requirements. We participate in external forums like GS1 Public Policy, um, which also monitors the different requirements. Also through our customer network, we leverage the power of the TraceLink community and the TraceLink network uh, with access that our customers have to information and being able to share it and cross-fertilize it. The TraceLink platform uh, today supports compliance requirements for five countries, US, EU, China, India, and South Korea. Brazil is an interesting case study because that's an example of a law that was going into effect, a requirement, as everyone knows, that had to be implemented first phase by December of 2015. TraceLink invested, implemented the solution, now the law is undergoing a significant change, and what companies are going to have to do is going to be different going forward. We'll be there for that, and we plan on this year implementing uh, the next click on Brazil and, and the new set of requirements that are going to be associated uh, with Brazil as the new law goes into effect. And when you think about um, that pace, um, that uh, set of support and capability that TraceLink has, it really, I think, demonstrates our being head and shoulders um, above some of the others that are out there because, again, this is our singular focus. With that singular dedication, we're able to uh, meet the different requirements, come out with solutions in a very timely manner, help our customers to comply on time with their different requirements. It's, you know, day in and day out. It's what we live and breathe.